So you just moved to a new school and are having trouble finding friends in said establishment. Naturally, you would look to what the current fad is and follow the crowd. It's not exactly the most morally just way to become ingratiated with people, but it's what our leading lady Ruko does in the trippy and inwardly sinister Selector Infected Weecross. Ruko lives with her brother and grandmother, who is awesome by the way, really down with the kids, who have just moved into town. Ruko has no friends in this new world and seems to be perfectly okay with being a social outcast and keeping herself to herself. That is until her brother gives her with a copy of the popular card game We Cross, pronounced We Cross, to try and get people to like her. It's a kind gesture but a little cheap in terms of trying to get people to like you, but that's the order of the day. With these cards, she'll hopefully get a cross, sorry, how good a friend she could be. That is until she opens up the white box containing the card pack and discovers her Elric card, who she subsequently names Tama, can talk. Well, babble if you want to be specific. Meaning that Ruko is a selector. Selectors are chosen girls, because it has to be girls, and only girls for some reason, who can play for the chance to become the eternal girl. Sorry guys, this ain't for you way to marginalize a card game, and have their dreams come true. This is all laid down in front of Ruko by similarly gifted Yuzuki, who immediately battles her and becomes her friend or colleague? It's kind of uncertain what Yuzuki wants Ruko to be. The rest of the episodes chronicle how selectors fight in a specially created mind arena where their avatars fight in person. Holy raw! Real monsters! And if they lose three times, it's game over for their dreams and time with the game. That's the main plot, that is. There are some subplots out there which really give Selector Infected Weecross some depth over other card game shows in the anime sphere. I'll get this out of the way. This show apes Madoka Magica so much that it hurts a lot. From the schizophrenic changes of mood, the juxtaposing art style, the angelic avatars whom have a noticeable lust for blood and battles, the blood. It's clear that the producers of this original anime sat down and marathoned Madoka Magica and said, let's take this and add some Yu-Gi-Oh to the mix and market it. That's the feeling I get from this show. Like Yu-Gi-Oh, the players fight with their avatars and feel their pain whenever they get hurt, except without the cool dual disc system, and instead sit in dragon chairs. Okay, that's not so bad. Ruko's avatar Tama is very similar to Kyubei, the adorable and incredibly sinister mascot from Madoka Magica, in both appearance and personality with a little bit of Togepi from Pokemon thrown into her attire. Tama's sweet exterior seems to be hiding a killing machine, and this notion seeps into Ruko's dreams with a wholly demonic version of Tama, destroying everything in sight with a wide and twisted grin. Gosh, that's something. So what happens when we strip away the similarities and look at the show on its own? We get something pretty good, actually. JC staff and chief director Tatsuya Sato, director of the similarly immersive Steins Gate, have done well to produce something which justifies the premise of Selector Infected We Cross. The artwork is solid and has a smooth edge to it, whilst also being rather detailed where it counts most. The battle arenas are sights to behold and give a more ethereal stroke to an otherwise familiar premise of a children's card game. The story itself too is strong. Ruko and Yuzuki then befriend another girl, Hitoe, and then quickly gain a rival in the form of Akira, an upcoming idol whom is an utter two-faced prude. I'm not gonna lie, I hate this character with a passion. She puts on a sweet demeanor, but in game, oh you yeah. Watch out! She uses her tactics to uncover people and destroy them through taunts and underhanded emotional blackmail, which she uses on Hitoe and Yuzuki early on. When she doesn't get what she wants despite winning those games, she has a hissy fit and her true persona is shown in its ugly, high definition glory. When I saw her acting so cruelly, I felt myself getting emotionally invested, which is a good sign that what I'm watching is engaging me on an emotional level. However, there are some things about the show which disappoint slightly. Yuzuki's wish is to have her twin brother Kazuki fall in love with her. Hello, Twincess! Which has been seen before, and is a cheap shock tactic which didn't work with me and probably won't with most anime buffs. But it doesn't discredit Yuzuki's character at all. She's a very confused girl and is clinging onto the idea of Weecross granting her wish. Her avatar, Hanoya, is actually a helpful sounding board and gives poignant advice in terms of heated angst. See? Not all cute avatars want to bathe in the blood of their foes. Ruko's character is a bit of an enigma too. She is quite selfless in that she has no dream or wish, and will happily sacrifice her cards so that other people get closer to their dreams. That is before Tama corrupts her and starts to enjoy the game. Actually her grandmother is into the game too, and the pair discuss tactics and play together which is pretty cool, and a charming side point which I wanted to bring up. Is Ruko really a good person or a dormant tyrant? We'll have to wait and see. I will. This show is not ashamed to acknowledge its admiration of Madoka Magica and profit from its unexpected success. It lays its cards on the table, sorry again, and presents something that the committee will think sell. Especially considering that there is a real life version of the Wii Cross game in the works, which will be released soon in Japan, and probably in the US too, as Funimation have picked the show up. Selector Infected Wii Cross is here to sell an upcoming game, but it differs from most tie-in productions in that it feels strong on its own. I like it. 
And I want to see what happens. It's hooked, it's hooked me with its look and feel, but it's not a fully original show, which saddens me, but doesn't ruin the overall appeal I have for it. I want to see Akira get a just dessert, and Ruka beat her into the dirt, by any means necessary. Give this a look. Selector Infected Wheat Cross is available to stream on Funimation's website. My rating? Continue. A strong production which is only hindered by its somewhat derivative premise. If you like what you heard, please visit my Patreon campaign to help grow Anaphile at patreon.com forward slash X.